In the last video we had an overview about the Nest.js framework and we created a new project to handle the back end of our app. In this video we will create a module for the user registration flow we developed in the front end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to follow the development of this real app using the Ionic and Nest.js frameworks. Let's start by creating a new module to handle the user registration. A module is a container for a specific set of classes and functionalities in an application. This new module will have everything needed for the user registration specifically, nothing else. In SJS we can create a new module with the whole structure by going to the command line and telling nest to generate a resource in the modules folder called register. Nest.js will ask us what kind of resource we want to build. I'll choose the REST API option. Then it asks me if I want to generate crude entry point. Create, read, update, delete entry point. I'll answer with no. Then after this a bunch of files are created for us. Let's take a look at each one of them starting with the register module file. This file puts together everything that's related to this module, so the registration we use, the register controller and the register service. Let's enter the register controller and analyze it. Here we just have a controller which has the controller annotation and it uses the register route. Notice that this controller depends on the register service. The register service has the injectable annotation. This annotation tells Nest.js that every time Nest.js sees a variable inside of a constructor with the type register service, then Nest.js should inject a new instance of the register service inside of that constructor, meaning we will not have to do something like creating a new instance of the register controller and passing to it a new instance of the register service. This is called dependency injection and it will be done automatically by the Nest.js framework. Notice also that after telling the Nest CLI to create a new resource, the app.module file was also changed. Now it is importing the register module. The app module is the main module of our app and it puts all the modules together. Alright, now we created our first module, controller and service which will handle the registration flow. It is not doing much now, but we'll get to that soon. Let's now create the REST API for registering a new user. To do this, I'll create a new function in the register controller called register. Now we need to think about how we want the front end to communicate with this API through an HTTP call. Here in this API, we need to add a new user to the database. There are a few methods that the HTTP communication gives to us, which are the get, post, put, patch, and delete methods. The get method is used to retrieve information. The post method is used to add information. The put and patch methods are used to update information. And the delete method is used to remove information. So we can see here that we need to use the POST method. In order to do this, we need to add the POST decorator to our register function. Before we run the backend and make a call to the service to see what happens, let's make this function return the string user registered so we can better understand how it's working. Let's now run the app in development mode and see what we can already do. Alright, our server is running and in order to make a call to the register post API, I will use the postman app. Here in the URL I will enter localhost double dot slash register and I will click enter to make a call to the back end. We can see that we got the 404 response which means not found. This happened because we are using the wrong HTTP method to make the call. We are using get, but our API is expecting to be called using a post. If I change it to post and hit the send button, we'll see that we get the user registered string as a response. Cool, so we just created our first module and the first API call for the user registration part of our app. 
In the next video, we'll continue working on this module and find a way how the back end can receive and validate the information sent by the front end in order to register a user. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.